Mitt Romney got in front of all the criticism. He defended his record of Bain Capital, telling folks he's a turnaround guy and he'll use his business experience to turn around the USA. I say that's what we need. Let's ask our guests. We are now as Democratic strategist Jimmy Williams, Mark Simone, WABC radio talk show host, and Guy Benson, political editor of townhall.com. Mark Simone, I'm sure you read this thing. Did Romney make the case that the turnaround experience can be applied to this bankrupt company called USA Government, Inc. He made the case, but a mild, mild case. I don't know why from the beginning he didn't explain, Bain. It's a fascinating story. 78 companies turned around. There were two losses there. And you know what's more fascinating is Bain Consulting. He worked there first, the best consulting firm in the world. He became the best business consultant on earth, such a star that that's why they financed him in his own company. His story is incredible. He needs to get out there and tell it in vivid detail. He didn't really talk about those kinds of things did he? he didn't really defend making money there and his own business success he kind of defended the management style yeah. but he didn't go where you wanted you know that go. steel mill that closed it was closing when Bain came in that's how they picked it up mm -hmm. they kept it alive for 10 years they turned that thing around for years it only went when the whole American steel industry went all right Jimmy I, I want to go to you on this because here's what he says when trouble arises when you see a problem run toward it before the problem gets worse I want to know where President Obama is on the fiscal cliff, the tax and spending cliff that is going to put us into a recession. He is not running toward it. He is running away from it. And I think that's a big problem. Uh, two things. First, he ran away from it when it came to Simpson Bowles. Second, last August, exactly one year ago, we were having this exact same conversation. Congress was doing nothing about what was happening except sending us closer and closer and closer. And by the way, the White House was playing along with it to the fiscal cliff. And then all of a sudden, I remember, oh, we have a grand deal. And here comes sequestration. What is sequestration? Massive across the board cuts. Guess what? So they, they stopped it for one year. Yeah, but, and but, now what's happening? But wait a minute. Everybody's like, oh, I didn't mean that. I didn't want that. No, no, no. I didn't want well, to okay. have sequestration. There's buyer's remorse on the across the board spending cuts. Both sides I of the aisle. Both sides of the aisle. But guy, the House has already passed. I mean, this is what interests me. The House Republicans have already passed an extension of the, all the Bush tax cuts. That's right. The Senate has already passed an extension up to $250,000. Okay, so both houses have, in this rare instance, actually got something done. Where's Obama to come in, bring them into the Oval Office, and talk things through to make a deal, to find common ground? See, the, what Romney is saying is, when you see a problem, go to solve it. What I see from Obama is, when you see a problem, run away from it. And you're right. And I think this is one of the biggest indictments you're going to see against the president this coming week at the Republican National Convention. Looking at some of the speeches Governor Christie has given, for example, through the last couple of years, one in particular comes to mind at the Reagan Library. He really went after Obama's leadership or lack thereof. I think that that was a preview of what we're going to see in the keynote on Tuesday night. They're going to hammer again and again. And it'll come back to the president's uh, proposal or the, the way he they presented himself in 2008. I'm going to bring everyone together. He's done exactly the opposite. Do you think, though, let me ask a question regarding Romney's own piece here. Did Romney make the case that he, the turnaround guy, can turn around this bankrupt company, USA Government Inc., and can turn around this bankrupt economy called the U.S. economy? In other words, he starts out saying about this turnaround stuff, which is great, go right for it. He lists, uh, let's see, Brookstone, Bright Horizon, Steel seven. Dynamics. He, he listed has, seven. Yeah, he's got yes. seven companies. Okay, that, that's good. I, I like that a lot. Why didn't he go further and apply it to both the government and the economy? I want to get you all the way in on this, because I felt he and his speechwriters should have had a more well-developed analysis. I, I like, well, first of all, I'm not going to bash private equity. I, I, right. I, in the past, have represented both Blackstone and Carlisle. I, I'm not going to bash private equity and I didn't when he when this whole thing began about being capital from the from the Obama campaign but here's the problem with it. the problem with it is 
running a small company whether or a medium-sized company, whether it's Staples or a steel mill or whatever it is, is different than running the federal government. Running the state of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts is different than running 50 states with myriad different problems, believe me, in a $16, $17 trillion deficit. That's a very different issue. Does he have the basis by running a company well? Yes, he does. He has a but skill that, set. He yes, has a skill he has set. a skill set. And by the way, Bill Clinton never ran a company. Ronald Reagan never ran a company. Well, they and ran, they did perfectly fine. Reagan ran a gigantic state. That's a big company. Yeah, yeah he ran a gigantic and state. And Reagan, Reagan by the way, but ran, what was a his very, business experience? He ran a very large labor union also. But Some people point experience. to past presidents who ran a business and weren't great presidents, but Romney's not a guy who ran a business. He's a guy who ran 75 different businesses. He's proven he can turn around anything, anytime, anywhere. And this convention next week, he's going to have America's ears. That's his last chance right. to really tell his story to everybody. 40 to 50 million people are going to watch it. He better this. tell the story in detail there. And he's got to make the case that I've solved problems. Obama just talks about problems. And he's great at talking about problems because guys that do nothing but talk are good at that. And he basically is saying he prefers entrepreneurs to government. That's a great part of Romney's message. He'd lower tax rates. He'd replace Obamacare. He'd roll back regulations. Is that going to be what he says next Thursday at the convention? Yeah, I think it's going to be some contrast and then a very positive message about what his uh, philosophy is. And I think that's what a lot of people have been waiting, sort of sitting on the sidelines saying, when is he really going to roll up his sleeves and get into this? And also talk about Bain Capital and Bear Hug it. I mean, in some ways, I think the Romney campaign is very fortunate, Larry, because they've had $120 million spent against them over the right. summer. A lot of it in negative ads. A lot of them were uh, inaccurate ads, but still trying to really hang on to this Bain Capital thing and twist it. They've survived. They've really, managed to survive. Polls are even up right now. Polls are even up. Real quick, Mark Simone. Likeability. I was talking to Laura Ingram about this on a radio show today. Likeability. What's Romney have to do to get people to like him? Uh, I didn't think he's terrific every time he's I likeable. see him, but whatever. You know, you, sometimes <laughs> you want a likable president. In the 90s, you needed that. But in times of real crisis, the Depression, you didn't go for the likable guy. You went for the sober, austere guy, yep. the, the FDR. This is what you need right now. All right, we've got to leave it there. Thank you, gentlemen. Jimmy Williams, Mark Simone, and Guy Benson. We appreciate it. Mm -hmm.